Saturday, December 26th, 11 tornadoes spread destruction across North Texas. Here in Rowlett, two weeks after the disaster, cleanup is still underway. I talked to April Hansen, a Rowlett resident who, with her toddler, newborn, and husband, took cover from the tornado that hit their street. Well, we already had the kids in the bathroom, and um, I asked my husband to go get a mattress to put over us, and the, the toddler was in the bathtub, and then I was holding our newborn. Uh, we didn't see it because we were in the bathroom, but we could hear it. It sounded like a helicopter landing, and the house shook, and I thought that the glass was going to break out of our windows Houses were damaged, like five or six houses down from us. Um, as far as like the impact on the neighborhood, I will say that people have really stepped up. You know, at our local elementary school, people have dropped off, you know, donations, food, water, clothing, diapers, all kinds of things to help everyone. Um, and they have been trying to clean it up. Um, the Boy Scouts and the Cub Scouts, um, our sons are involved with. They have been, you know, cleaning up the area. Um, so I do think that the community has really come together even though it was a really tragic thing that happened. Then I interviewed Sue Buford, a volunteer with Church in the City, a church that has opened its doors and become a resource and aid center for those in need. The first thing we decided was that people might need a place to stay. About probably the first person on campus was here less than an hour after the tornado went through. Um, the tornado actually took the back wall, the bricks off the back wall of our church, did some roof damage, and uh, broke some windows. The neat thing that we've heard is how well the community has pulled together. And it's just been really neat to watch the organizations work together to help people who are in need. These folks are dealing with a lot of looting. They're dealing with a lot of people who are trying to separate them from what little money they've got. When people ask me what we need, I usually tell them gift cards or money. We need new clothes and new shoes and gift cards. I would say would be the, the, the main things that we would need at this point. They want to come help. We're, like I said, we're at the corner of Dell Rock and 66. But the easiest way is if you have time to come and register. It has now been almost four weeks since the tornado struck, but homes and lives take longer than that to rebuild. Cleanup is still going on and volunteers are still needed. You can call the following numbers to volunteer with Church in the City or donate. If you want something closer to home, Hope Fellowship down the road has a donation bin in their lobby. Keep your prayers with those affected and the families of the deceased. This has been Michael Severance, Sentin News.